Our playoff field has now dwindled to just six UP teams, and Jake, you could argue the most impressive one has been Iron Mountain. The Mountaineers have made the playoffs for the past five consecutive seasons, but this year they're looking to end the season on an even higher level. The Mountaineers are undefeated and have rolled everybody on their schedule so far. This week I caught up with the team to see how they're feeling heading into the weekend. With the only remaining undefeated record among the UP football ranks, the Iron Mountain Mountaineers are cruising into their regional playoff matchup against the Beale City Aggies. We're having a great year. I mean, up to this point, we're 11-0. Uh, we won the dis district championship last week, and that's a great day. Anyway, any, any day you can win a district championship at home, it was just a great day for Mountaineer football. I'd like to say congratulations to all the other UP teams that did win a district championship because a lot goes into it. I think we're playing well. I think uh, our offensive line's just just blocking up front and our running backs are just really making plays. While the team won by an average of over 40 points per game in the regular season, in their biggest matchup against Nagani, the team found themselves tied at seven at halftime. I feel like when Nagani got a part return on us in the opening quarter of that game, that kind of, I feel like it was just kind of weird because we haven't been down all year, but I think we did good to handle the adversity and come back. With a halftime, the Nagani game, it's a battle. It's a 7 7 ball game. Nagani's a very good football team. and. We just got to go out and we got to execute and make plays, and that's just where you're at this time of year. Um, every team left has talent. Every team left has kids that have invested in the offseason and have played hard. And it's all about making plays on the big stage. So you take it one play at a time and try to get your kids, you know, not to think as much. Just go out there and, uh, and play football like they've done all, done all years. Nagani, obviously. And then last week against Ishpeng, I think we were too confident at the gate, and they came out and smacked us and that kind of was a little wake-up call so with their backs against the wall the Ishpeming Hematites came out strong against the Mountaineers in their district playoff matchup uh I feel like it I feel like we came out kind of slow just like not really playing our game but I feel like Ishpeming came out a lot like harder than they did the first time we played them and it was a good game up front they I don't know if they had different guys or if they were just they knew it could be their last game and so they're just playing their butts off and uh well, given it everything. Now the team sets their sights on Beale City, hoping to capitalize on what has the makings of a season for the record books. Um, defending them on the jet sweep mostly, that's a big play for them, and then uh, they have some decent receivers, so we're focusing on that, and then, yeah, kind of run a little different defense from what's traditional for us, but hopefully it'll work out. Uh, I feel like it's mostly defense, because obviously we played them a couple years ago and they beat us by a lot. So I feel like our defense really has to step up and stop their run game on the outside. They want to run the jet sweep. They want to put their athletes in space. They're very good at it. They're very athletic, like I said. And uh, that's their game plan. And their game plan is not going to change. Our game plan is not going to change. You are who, who you are. And you just got to go out and block and tackle. I just want to, you know, take your hats off to, to all the kids because it's a long season. It's a grind. You know, you start in the preseason and then all of a sudden we're in week one. Well, this is the 12th weeks so you're at 14 weeks and there's a lot that goes into it so I just want to credit the kids for coming to practice every day and uh, and just giving it all they got. 